So I've had a few people ask me about whether I can turn on the keystrokes and they can appear on the screen in my videos kind of as I'm typing. So you can kind of learn Vim as I am going along and see my keystrokes. And I don't really want to do this because one, I think it's going to be hard to follow along because I'm going to be typing quickly and kind of doing commands. And two, for people that are not interested in learning Vim, uh, I think it's kind of a distraction. Uh, but this video is my compromise. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go slowly through refactoring, refactoring some code and kind of explain my thought process and the keystrokes that I'm using in Vim. So I have screencast mode on in VS Code, so you can see my keystrokes as I'm typing. One thing I noticed is all the keys are all caps. Um, when you see this, note that there's lowercase by default um, everything, and then if I put a shift in front of it, that's when I'm doing an uppercase uh, letter. So even though it looks like I'm doing an uppercase K here, this is really lowercase K, and this is lowercase J, just a heads up. So yeah, so what we're gonna do is uh, I have this to-do list code that I wrote a while ago. This is just a class component in React, and I'm gonna refactor it to a uh, component, a functional component, and I'm gonna do it all in Vim, and I'm going to explain how I'm, I would go about refactoring something, or basically just the code that I want to do to get around the file, to delete stuff, to change stuff, and so on. Uh, if you want to follow along with this exact code, I'll put a link to the code in the description, and then I am on branch uh, 15. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first is, I'm just going to move my mouse over to the right over here. First things first, I kind of want to delete this giant comment right here. Um, and so in, in Vim, I am in command mode. And you can see me going up and down with my cursor. So that's JK. That's really the first thing you should learn in Vim. This is how you move around one uh, letter at a time. Now, if I want to move a block of code, I do shift and then bracket. So you can see my cursor has moved a, a bracket of code here. This is uh, Those two are like the main ways that I will navigate through a file. So like right here, I would like to select and delete this entire comment right here. So one way I can do that is if you hit Command, sorry, not Command, Shift V, capital V, that gives you the select mode in Vim. Uh, so you can see I have block select. What block select does is it selects the entire line here. So if I do J to go down, you can see it's selecting the entire line. And what I could do is just, again, I hit Command V to activate this at the top, and I'm going down. And all this is currently in command mode. Um, so I can insert insert mode by hitting I, and you can see my cursor changes. And then I can hit escape to go out. All right, so K to go up to the top here. So shift V, and then I'm gonna drag my cursor down, J, J, J. And then to delete this block, I press D. Um, and there we go, I've deleted that, that chunk of uh, that comment. So that would be like the common way I would delete a chunk of code, is I would go to where I wanna start, Command V and I J all the way down. Now, this is where I can mix in my uh, shift bracket and go up and down. By the way, left bracket goes up, right bracket goes down. So here I can shift V and then right bracket down and then D. Right, so you can see that I did that in like kind of like one stroke there. So shift V, select the block, uh, shift bracket down and then D to delete. So basically three things I did to delete there. Um, you can do control V that lets you select just a section. Um, you don't have to do an entire line at a time. So that's another way you can do it. If you want to just do partial. So like, let's say I want to delete to, uh, this part of the, I can, and then you just saw me push X, X, uh, D usually deletes the entire thing. I, I don't know if I can use D here. Can I use D? Let's see if I can use D here. Yep. D works there too. So X, that deletes a single character there. Um, all right, so that's how I would go about deleting this chunk. There's a couple other ways I could go about deleting this chunk. So I could shift V. This I rarely do, but now and then I will. If you type a number, like let's say I type the number 10 and then I push J, what it does is it goes down 10 lines. Um, so this can be helpful. So you saw me, what I just did to bring my cursor up here is um, just shift uh, bracket is what I'm doing to bring my cursor up. 
So a lot of times what I'll do is if there's not really a block of code that I want and there's just like a couple of lines down or something, I'll shift V and then I'll say, all right, so we have five, 16, subtract, it's 11. Uh, so we can do 11, J, and then there we go. And then press D, delete. All right, all right, I think we've done enough. You know, I didn't talk to you about that. So you just saw me, uh, U, that's undo. Control R is redo. So U, redo. So those are very common ones you use a lot. So you, that's what you just saw me doing there. Um, and that basically just undoes and redo does the last thing. And by the way, I can press U a lot of times. All right, so I'm gonna bring my cursor up here and I could press D twice, that deletes a line. So D twice, um, D twice, just keep pressing D, right? I'm just pressing D a bunch. We're gonna delete one line at a time. Then I can press U, 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 and we just undo one layer at a time. And then I can say Control R, right, and press it a couple times, and we go back, unravel. Um, the other thing is, I now and then I'll use this uh, if I want to delete like 11 lines of code. I could instead of doing, I usually like to highlight to see what I'm going to delete first. So like I like to highlight Shift V go down 11 like that, but I can skip the whole highlighting step and I can just say delete 11 lines by saying 11 and then hitting delete or DD, right? And that'll delete two lines. Okay, so I've deleted that chunk. That was a long time of just deleting that chunk of the comment, but I thought that was helpful to show. All right, so here I would like to um, start in, go into insert mode. And not only do I wanna go into insert mode, uh, but I want to go into insert mode below this. So I would push O. So now I am in insert mode here and I can press enter and I can type regularly. So again, just to show what I did um, is I, wherever I wanna go, I press O and it inserts a new line and puts me in insert mode below. So that's a very handy one. So I hit escape, we'll undo that because I don't want that line there. I can also push I if I don't wanna add a new line, but a lot of times I wanna press O. Um, I can also go from underneath and do shift O. So again, O from the top, shift O. So you can see there's like a lot of things going on. I don't know if I'm going at a good speed here. Um, let me know, I might do a future video slower or faster depending on how good the speed is. But if I'm actually just going, there's like a lot of key presses that can go on and it can be hard to follow. All right, so let's say export defaults and I'm gonna say const to do list. All right, so this is just me creating a function, and this is just me typing words. There was just no vim there. That was just me in insert mode. So I hit escape to go back into command mode. And so what I'd like to do is I would like to go to the bottom of the file, because the bottom of the file has um, the render function, and I want to move it up here. So one way I could do that is I could scroll with my mouse wheel, right? But we're using vim. So the way you do that in vim is, one, I could just go shift, and I could use the... Uh, bracket and this is where you can see you can see my cursor it jumps lines of code at a time I can also just do J all the way down I could say like 50 J oops I did way too much um, and I could say 40 K you can go up 40 lines so there's a lot of different ways you can navigate I'd probably say the one I use the most is uh, G so a capital G takes you to the bottom double G takes you to the top so shift G to the bottom, capital two G's to the top. All right, so shift G to the bottom. Um, and now I can see I'm doing K to move up. My cursor, and let's just scroll this up so you can see. Basically, I want to copy from here all the way to here. Um, so another cool thing that you can do in React, well, not just React, really anything, um, is I want to see like the end of a parenthesis. So I can say shift and then uh, percent sign, or I guess shift five is percent sign. And what that does is you'll notice my cursor toggles between the two uh, parentheses. So this is opening parentheses, shift percent takes me to the end. And so I use that all the time to jump between this. Uh, so that's very helpful. So like for example, I wanna see where this closing bracket is, shift percent, I can see it's right there. Super handy. Okay, so here I would like to copy this render function and move it up. So for this, I'm gonna say Shift V to select a block or the entire line, and then I'm just gonna go down. And again, I could say Shift and then bracket to just go to the end of the code block. 
um, and then I'm going to press D to delete it. Now I'm going to press G twice to go to the top of the file. I'm going to move my cursor down with J, and then I've positioned it where I'd like to paste the code, and I paste it with P. So when you delete code, it's basically copied to your clipboard. So like for example, DD to delete that div there, and I can hit P to paste it in. And you'll notice you paste like uh, like a, right above your cursor. So like see my cursor's on line seven, paste it, it goes in line eight. All right, so I'm gonna delete that with DD, DD there. And uh, yeah. All right, so I moved this chunk of code up. I like to move some other stuff uh, up here as well. So I'm going to go shift G down. Um, and you'll notice now I'm going to start to repeat a lot of keystrokes because those are the ones that I use the most. So I'm going to use K to move up. Um, and let's say I want to take this chunk of code here. So I'm going to say shift V, right? So that was very fluid. I said shift, uh, sorry, shift V. And then we're going to go up with K, All right? We're going to copy this chunk, GG to go to the top, paste this in. Yeah, space there. All right, so we'll, we'll, let's just go through that sequence again because I did it pretty fast. So J to move around. So Shift V to ch uh, select the chunk and move up with K. Delete. Go up with G. GG. Go down with J. Paste it in. Go up with K. Zero to out of space. Zero to out of space. Go back down with Shift G. So you can see, let's just do this in... Uh, full speed. So this is what full speed would look like if I was just doing this. So I could shift, select it, D, go back up, go down, paste, like that. So that's kind of like what a full speed would go look like. All right, so let's bring some other stuff. So for example, let's see, I have state here. So uh, this is one thing that I do sometimes is I'd like to see where the, uh, where I've used the word state other places. So if I double click this, I can see a highlight of it. But in Vim, if I say shift star, that I'll take my cursor to the next instance of the word state. So you can see I can easily hop around to all the words that have the word state in this file. So that's a very handy one. I like that one a lot. Um, the other one is you'll notice like my cursor is all the way down here. I'd really like that to be in the center of the page. So what I can do is I can say ZZ takes me to the middle. Um, so it br basically brings your cursor to the middle of the page. So wherever it is. So if it's at the bottom, CZ brings it to the top. If my cursor is at the top, like this. Let's bring it up to top. CZ centers it. All right. So let's K to go up. Let's see what I'm storing in my state. J to go down. All right. So I'm going to say Shift V and J to go down. And press D. And we're going to go K up. So you see this combo is one that I do all the time. Shift V to select lines. And we'll paste this up here. So here, I went to insert mode. Uh, you saw me just do JK there. Pretend you didn't see the JK. Um, I don't. Well, it's, I guess. Well, yeah. I guess I can talk about it real quick. So instead of escape, I basically have escape bound to JK. So that may be a little confusing, but note you can do that too. But it requires like a change in your settings. For now, don't worry about it if you're new to Vim. If you're new to Vim, just use escape. That's fine. All right. So okay, you'll notice one thing that I'll do. Um, I haven't really shown yet is like, let's say I want to like move my cursor um, in a single line. So like here, I'd like to go to um, the next word. I use, I press W. W takes you to the next word. So it's a very nice way to move your cursor. Like, so we kind of talked about how to go vertical up and down, but let's say I want to move my cursor horizontally through the line. So for that, a lot of times what I will do is I'll push W. W goes forward, B goes back a word. So W to go through this. Um, and that's, and then zero takes me to the front of the line. All right, so W, 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 go through, zero to the back, W, J to go down, K to go up. So really what this comes to is a lot of times I'm like, all right, I come to this line, we'll Z to center it, and then I want to make it, um, all the way to the end of the line. For that, I usually do Shift A. Shift A uh, in, puts you in insert mode too, because a lot of times that's why I want to go to the end of the line. Um, I actually don't know. Is it dollar sign? Yep, dollar sign. So Shift Four take you to the end of the line in normal mode. All right. So Shift Four took you to the end in normal mode. 
shift a takes you at the end so shift a is usually what i use there um, you also see me using zero zero takes you to the leftmost end of the line so a combo that i use a ton is so like let's say my cursor is here and really where i want it to go is the beginning of this line so i'll say zero then w zero w takes you to the beginning of the line i do this all the time now it's good to note there's actually a better key bind that you can use it's called uh shift six or just the carrot that does what zero w does i just don't have shift uh, six like memorized into my muscle memory yet so i always do z zero w so you'll see me do that um i think that's pretty good for a first video um i think we went over like a lot of vertical movement and that's some horizontal there's more horizontal to go over um, but i think i'll end the video here because we did a pretty good session of them and that was a ton of key binds right there so practice those um, and let me know if you guys like this below we can do another session where i go over some more key bindings and refactor this code a little bit more um, but that's a little taste see i think this like method would go a little bit better if i'm slowing down and kind of explaining some of the key binds rather than just like putting them on as I'm coding full speed because I'm afraid it'll just like look at all the junk that goes on the screen as I'm doing stuff. It'll just like be too fast that you'll be able to miss it. But anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching, guys.